What's up guys, welcome back to Gators Garage. Today we're diagnosing inoperative power seats on this Mercedes 190E. <clears throat> when I got this car originally, uh, the front seats uh, did not move at all. Uh, so it was pretty crazy. If you watched my first video about this car, you should actually, if you haven't watched it, there's gonna be a link down below as well as you can look at it right here. Uh, so when I was driving it back home, I couldn't do anything. I mean, I couldn't move the seat uh, back and forth or anything. And the crazy part is that um, I had to drive like so close to the steering wheel. You know, I had no choice, but I had to drive so close to the steering wheel. And my back um, backrest was actually like really like inclined forward. So I was literally like this. So. That really sucked so finally today is the day to fix these power seats and let's go ahead uh, this is gonna be your best friend this is a wiring diagram uh, just remember without electrical diagram and without the correct electrical diagram on any car out there you cannot diagnose electrical issues unless you exactly know where which, what wires go where and what color they are blah 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 and how the system works all that stuff that's why it's very important to have have proper wiring diagram um, so yeah that's what I have right here uh, it's just one of the sheets I have more sheets uh, inside the car so first of all is we need to um, learn this together and see how the system works um, and then yeah also don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and check out my playlist to have a lot of cool and interesting content about classic mercedes and other cars as well so thank you so much once again and let's go ahead and diagnose this all right guys i'm about to show you um you know how i purchased this car basically and uh so it's kind of crazy because when i bought this car um this is how i got that okay also don't pay attention there's like some stuff in the car i'm actually gonna be getting ready to pull out the whole interior i'm gonna be pulling the front seats out because i need to do a lot of cleanup on the carpets and other stuff and inspect floors for rust um and that's why you know i'm just right now first i have to you know take care of these power seats um but this is how I got this car, okay? It had, it was missing this, uh, basically back, uh, you know, uh, back pad right here, okay? Um, so luckily, <laughs> I still have it, okay? It came with the car. Um, and thank God, the previous owner who owned it, he didn't just rip it out and he actually removed those two screws because I was actually really scared. I thought that, uh, you know, a lot of people like to pull on these, but there's actually a couple of screws on the bottom they have to take off first, all right? So I'm gonna start short, this is how I got the car, okay? And also that, if you guys remember the video that I made, the second one, I think, that door panel was also out because the the window regulator was broken and that's how I just bought the, you know, that's how I bought the car. Yeah, so, the, and crazy, you know, like the, the previous owner is actually a mechanic at Dodge, but it's it just sucks, you know, that the car is actually really neglected, you know, just even looking at all the junk and, you know, this is how I got the car, okay, had no floor mats or anything and just, just a bunch of junk everywhere, so yeah, um, some, you know, uh, parts from the seats and all that stuff, so... Yeah, but this is how I got the car, okay? This was, uh, the power seats were not working at all and it seems like the guy, I don't know what the guy was trying to do, but he, uh, you know, um, I guess cut some wires out of here. Um, and there's actually a cable that goes from this motor, it goes all the way here and what it does actually moves your head restraint up and down. So um, I realized that I won't be able to fix it right now because all these plastics are broken and they didn't break by themselves. I don't know, uh, someone, someone literally broke them. And this is the cable, okay? This is the linkage that goes from that motor and it should connect to this part right here but there's like a plastic piece which is right here okay this is where the cable connects to uh, and just goes up and down and moves your res uh, head restraint but uh, it's actually broken off right here so I'm you know and there's possibly a couple more pieces missing so as of right now I won't be uh, taking care of this I won't be fixing it until I find parts and blah 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 but first I need to find out why my seats don't move at all okay uh, let me show you really quick um oh also by the way i forgot to show you is that uh there are a couple more wires right here that 
are cut okay and they're just like hanging here like this so we'll have to find out where they go to and what they do so like i said a little bit of a mess over here okay um i'm just doing the, these diagnostics i need to figure it out this is how i got the car okay this switch was already out it was just hanging like this all right so and uh yeah i'll just show you really quick just so you guys understand that they nothing moves here okay um so you don't need to have your key on i mean if you, uh, i can i guess i can put it on for you guys so okay so i'm gonna turn the key on just so you guys know that there's power that i'm not bullshitting or anything okay um the only thing is that we're gonna have this buzzer so i have to block it off for now okay just like that all right so power is here okay the, the key's on so we're gonna jump right into this uh stuff so this is how i was driving this car for quite a while now it's pretty close to the steering wheel all right um and yeah the key is on all right the key is on um so nothing nothing is working right the seat doesn't move nothing moves all right nothing whatsoever front height rear height of the seat doesn't move uh, backrest doesn't move uh, and the cushion itself doesn't go back and forth okay and same thing is happening with that side all right that side is actually not doing anything as well um so these are the ones i was talking about they're missing on that side but i have some in stock so i'll install them it's not a problem but yeah as you can see this is not moving all right nothing okay okay guys let's go over this uh, wiring diagram really quick okay uh so we have this uh, auxiliary fuse box uh, and there's actually a power seat relay right here um it actually has power coming from this other uh, fuse box uh to it and then there is a uh, power right here coming on this side and on this side we have a ground a relay is grounded okay and then uh, when this control side is uh, powered up this switch inside the relay uh, flips this way and then your load side uh, is actually uh, energized so the power goes once the relay is energized the power goes from here and it goes right here all right and it goes to a couple of fuses which i'll show you really quick and then after that actually it gets split until it goes to the right power seat um and then uh, this car doesn't have the memory uh control unit or anything like that so that doesn't apply uh and then it just goes it shows you where it goes it goes to right power seat and then also goes to uh the switch um so this is your uh, left front power seat switch okay so this is your left front power seat switch all right there's a bunch of wires right here okay so what we need to worry about is we need to check for power supply. So that would be this wire, okay? So there's actually two power supplies uh, that come to this. Uh, actually, there there are three. Um, oh yeah, no, there are actually two two power two main power supplies. Um, so they're actually you know thicker wires. Uh, so one of them is red and yellow which we need to check okay and then another one is a red with uh, white okay so we're gonna check those two wires and make sure we have uh you know power uh coming to this power switch this video might be boring to some of you guys but this is really good stuff this is like real life diagnostics okay um so yeah if you enjoyed if you like the video if it's helpful please give a like and uh, subscribe to my channel 
all right guys so my tesla i have my tesla right here it's connected to ground this is a good ground i already tested it before you use a tesla make sure it lights up so touch it to like a battery or something or just like a positive source so you know that this tesla is working now going back to the diagram we're gonna check red and yellow okay and the red and white so let's locate those okay so there's a red and white right here okay okay red and white and then there's also red and yellow right there okay so in these cases you see the wires are kind of deep in there so you need to back probe, probe them so what i'm going to use is have some uh you know you can use like a needle or actually you can use like um some just like piece of uh you know safety wire or something like that but you know i'm gonna use the, this uh careful i'm just gonna uh go in there i'm not poking the wire i'm just going slightly in there okay right there I need to check for power okay so let's go ahead check for power is the tesla is still connected okay key is on even though you don't really, really need to have key on but it's the key is on okay mm, nothing right and then we're gonna jump to this other guy i mean you can have you don't really need to back program you can actually remove these connectors and then test them that way um but i'm just back probing them it's just probably easier faster saves time so now i'm gonna back probe this guy red and yellow and i'm gonna see if we have something and touching the test light we have nothing okay so that's not good so we have no power supply to the switch actually both switches so now since we don't have power supply uh we're gonna go back to this diagram this main page i'm gonna go back to this relay okay i went to see um when i turn the key on whether that relay energizes or not um so with the key on you should be able to feel it click you know yeah you can start checking for power here power here but i just want to see and feel if that relay is clicking you know if it doesn't click then that actually tells me that something's probably wrong with the relay or we could be having issues with you know power supply to the relay but um i just want to see and feel if we have um you know a click in the relay once we turn the key on so first of all, let me go ahead and show you this uh, uh, relay where it's located as well as two of these fuses, okay? All right, so we have these two. This is the auxiliary box, right? There was actually a cover right here that I took off. So the cover is off and then there's two. there are two relays. So this front relay is for your power seats. And those two fuses that you see right there, actually the ones that were on the diagram, um, there are these two fuses right here okay uh, and that's the relay that i just showed you so we're gonna test for power at those fuses that's the easiest thing they're like right there and i looked at them they're actually not blown or anything um so that's side connected to ground uh, let's double check make sure it's good uh, touch the battery positive okay it lights up one more time lights up so now we're gonna go back here touch these two see if they light up they should key is on nothing try another one touching it now nothing nothing okay so we have we have no power at these two fuses that's telling me we're gonna go back to this relay i'm gonna check stuff right here and as i said I'm gonna, once I, t you know, turn the key on, I'm gonna have one of my hands right here uh, touching and I'm gonna feel for it, okay? All right, guys, so I'm about to turn the key on and I'm trying to see if you guys can hear the click or not. All right, let's see.
so you guys can hear the click um but that click is not coming from this relay it's coming from this relay uh, and this is not for the power seats this is the one for power seats so uh, what i'm gonna do really quick i'm gonna pull this out okay okay i'm gonna pull this really out and now what we're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna listen for a click from this guy now let's see if we have a click all right uh, let's see all right all right key on nothing key on nothing one more time key on nothing all right so we get no click from this guy so i will quickly put this relay back on and i'll do the same test again uh, with the key on key on key on okay so something is definitely not right with this relay um so i'm gonna pull it out okay okay so this is the relay that i suspect that is bad but i can cannot tell just yet if it's bad or not uh, because i haven't tested for power and ground but to save time um I actually um, uh, do have one of these actually more than one of these in stock uh, so I'm going to just put another one in and see if that works okay um, and you can also if you have any other ones in your car you can have multiple of these type uh, types of relays in your car so you can just swap them out and see if that helps uh, with your issue but I'm not gonna do that I just have another one laying around so I'll swap that all right guys so the the relay on the left they're actually both identical uh same numbers on both the one on the right side is the one that I th is from this car i think it's bad and the one on the left is the one that i had in my parts stash so i'm gonna put this one the one on the left inside the car and we're gonna recheck it and see if that works i'm gonna actually i'm not we're not gonna listen for a click we're gonna go straight to the power seat see if they actually work okay so we're gonna install this bad bad boy okay right after i installed it actually clicked okay so i guess maybe that's a good sign so all right relay is installed now we're gonna test for power at those fuses again and my test light is still connected to um ground let's see if we have power wow look at that you guys see that we have power oops power on this side power on that side and let's try the other fuse power on this side power on that side that is amazing guys that is there's some amazing uh uh stuff over there okay we're gonna go ahead and test for power we're actually gonna see if the power seat works at all i'm um, pretty sure it's gonna work i don't know if it's gonna work completely uh by meaning by saying completely i don't know if uh, you know the backrest is gonna work or not so um at least i'm gonna be happy if you know it goes back and forth you know because i was so tired driving like so close imagine if you're a big guy you know uh, like me or you know <laughs> who knows who uh, and then you're driving like so close to the steering wheel especially in a 190e like this that's you know really tiny and sporty uh which i really love uh so yeah i would love to have the power seats back and we're gonna get them back to the operational condition all right guys so we can put this cover back on uh onto that auxiliary relay box right there okay back and we're gonna go and test our power seats this is also another wiring diagram that i printed out um, 
right here but that's just uh, not the diagram but that's just like a, a fuse box of this car and what is what and this is your auxiliary relay box which a was the power seats all right i actually wrote them right here <laughs> um power seat relay k6 that's a and um yeah guys so for all these diagrams um this is a 2.6 liter engine in this car so uh if you have like uh, the one with the m102 engine you know i'm pretty sure it's gonna be similar so what i'm gonna do is at the end of the video i'm gonna actually uh make screenshots of these uh diagrams and just uh leave them at the you know in the back of this video so you guys can if you need uh, wiring diagrams you guys can go ahead and actually have these if you need to diagnose your power seats okay so we just replaced that relay uh let's go ahead i'm not gonna check for power at those two wires like before i just want to go straight and see if we have power seats no way what try again what let's go back that is insane what was that just a bad power seat relay that is crazy the previous owner just like literally tore the whole thing apart like the back of that thing he'd like you know he cut out like all those wires in the back he probably just tried to like hot wire this thing or something to make it work that's crazy it was just the bad power seat really hmm okay let me check really quick one more thing let's check how the front motors if it's working if the front goes up and down okay i'm gonna about to press this okay went down okay it's going up all right now let's try the rear it's clicking okay what about if we go up that's the down position but what if we go up on it okay let's try to go up nothing happens huh Nothing happens when we go up. Um, and then let's try the backrest. Nothing. The backrest is not working at all. That is crazy, okay? Wow. So, I feel like we fixed the main issue is we do have power for sure right now because you know the the seat moves back and forth and everything now which is good uh, but we have multiple issues so it wasn't just a bad relay it was actually um i feel like maybe these you know uh power switches are bad but we need what we need to do is we need to test it a little further than that so um what we're going to do is we're going to see if the power is coming out uh from the power seat switch um to uh the seat motor so specifically what we're looking at is we are going to be looking at so this is you need to pay attention right now i know the video is getting long but we need to this is i hope this helps uh most of you um so we have the power coming to this uh, uh, switch. So you see over here, it says front height. Okay, front height, two wires for the front height motor, uh, which goes up and down, but this is working. Okay, you remember front height works. Okay, uh, then we go forward and backward. So that means the seat goes this way and that way. That's working, so we don't have to worry about that. Next, the third on the list is the rear height okay so we have the rear height so this rear height is actually not working okay so we're gonna worry about that so the rear height and then also the backrest backrest is not working this is not going anywhere um and then head restraint okay head restraint we're not gonna worry about that because i already showed you in the beginning of the video that um there's a broken cable um over there so and broken cable it goes and moves this up and down so i'm not too worried about it right now okay so let's focus on this uh rear height first okay so with this rear height okay we have two wires coming out okay we have a yellow wire and this is a green wire yellow wire 
green wire and they both go to this rear seat height motor okay so the rear height we're focusing on this rear height right now okay and they go down there to that motor okay we're not gonna go down there to check for power we're gonna check to make sure that the power is coming out from these guys okay from these uh two wires which is yellow and green so let's find those wires okay i made it a little easier so we're gonna put this we're gonna first check for power remember this is the main wire power wire okay let's make sure it has power okay let's check for power that red and yellow wire and we do have power coming in okay it's just not steady because this is oh there you go okay we have power all right so right now i'm gonna switch to this green one so when i and then I'm gonna need to have, it's gonna be really difficult, okay? I'll have to sh hold this test light like this and I have to press the switch at the same time. Um, and we're gonna be pressing, this is upside down, I'm so sorry, uh, but we're, we're gonna be pressing this switch right here, uh, which is responsible for the rear seat height. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this light like this and we're gonna try to press that guy. Watch the test light. I'm pressing it, nothing is happening. Okay, nothing, literally. So no power is coming out from the switch to the motor. Next, we're gonna try this yellow wire. It should light up one way or the other. And, let's see. Okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna be touching this guy. It's touching let's see if we have power okay so we have power coming out on this okay let's see power is coming out on that yellow wire okay which means as you remember when I was moving it I'll show you right now we have power one way okay to that motor but it, it doesn't it's not going up it only goes down but it's not going up okay uh, it's because there's no power right here there's no uh, there's no power coming out from the switch all right um, so now as you remember power supply is good and the power is coming out right here when you press the switch on this yellow uh, wire which makes the seat go down but we're missing power on this green wire right here it's not coming out when you press the switch and that green wire is responsible for the seat to go up okay so we have a problem with the this power um seat switch okay um so that's for the back uh seat height right now we're gonna go ahead and focus on this backrest okay okay we just finished diagnosing the uh rear height motor uh, which turned out to be a bad power seat switch. Uh, right now we're going to focus on this backrest. And we have a couple of wires. Uh, sorry, it's really hard to see. Uh, it's kind of like a crappy diagram, but uh, it's the right and it's a correct diagram for this car. Um, so we have two wires coming out, which is orange and gray. And they go down to the backrest motor. So we're going to find these two wires, orange and gray. Okay, and we're going to focus on those. So we have an orange right here. And we need to test. And we have this gray wire. This gray wire. It doesn't want to cooperate. It just wants to hide from me. Right here, gray wire. So they go to that switch. So we need to test those um, and see if we have power coming out to those guys uh, when we press uh, the button. All right, guys. So it's going to be hard for you to see, but the the connector has to be connected, and you have to back probe it. And it's pretty hard to do on this one. The best thing is to actually remove this cover, which you can do. But I already know that these two wires 
uh, one goes um, one goes right here and then the orange one is like right over here so I can just slide this carefully in and we're gonna test for power okay you just have to believe me that I'm gonna be touching this uh, gray wire we're gonna be testing for power coming out of there once I hit the switch okay so I'm gonna have this test light kind of like this it's gonna be really difficult guys all right and you just have to trust me because I'll be pressing that exact backrest uh, button okay one way or the other uh, we have nothing okay and the seat doesn't move nothing is happening okay same thing we're gonna slide this all the way through Okay, so I'm gonna be testing for power coming coming out of the orange wire. I have it all set up. It's pretty difficult to hold all this stuff. Um, and uh, let's see if we have it, um, if it's all good. So let's try it. Oops, let's reposition that. Let's see. One way. And the other. nothing see nothing coming out of the orange wire so that's telling me that this switch is bad okay so i do have another switch and we're gonna try to test that see if that actually works uh, but yeah uh long story short uh we're missing uh, at least three um you know three voltage supplies out of three wires from this switch okay um and we're missing two for the backrest we're missing one power supply coming out from to this other motor which is uh, the rear seat height adjustment uh, so same story I actually didn't show you that seat but the same similar story is happening to that seat uh, the seat is going uh, back and forth uh, and yeah it's just uh, it's just uh, I feel like these uh, these switches are just no good so which is what we diagnosed the switch is actually bad so initially we had a power seat uh, relay that was bad and we also had so we had two multiple issues is that the, these uh, seat switches are no good uh, so I'm not sure I'm probably gonna order new switches I'm not gonna I don't know maybe I'll disassemble them or not but I'll probably just you know, replace them I don't know um, with new ones so yeah that's the crazy story guys but uh let me get back with you and show you how the other seat switches work on this car i'm so sorry this video is getting too long uh, <laughs> but i really hope that it kind of made sense to you guys is that you always need to use wiring diagrams to diagnose uh, electrical issues on your car and i mean it's it's pretty simple to read the wiring that the wiring diagram it's not that bad you know uh i just need to know like you know test for power ground all the other stuff uh but you know and then you just need to know like the wiring like you know the wire colors all that stuff but it's not bad and plus when you read a wiring diagram like you already know how the system works okay so in this particular car there are no modules you know in new cars they have all these like seat modules blah 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 all the other stuff that are can actually also go bad but in this car it's pretty simple it's just a power seat relay a couple switches you know some grounds and that's it that's how the system is set up there are no modules in this car it's it's pretty amazing you know uh, but yeah we did have like a problem with the power seat relay um and you know those switches which is pretty common you know the car is 30 years old it's still so amazing you know how long these switches lasted and all that stuff they still work but just you know not all the functions on those switches work uh so we're gonna replace those switches i'll show you really quick how everything works afterwards and i'm gonna wrap everything up uh, there's some stuff that i have to fix on that uh seat so i have to put that back pad back uh, on and uh you know i have to solder a couple of wires uh, that were cut off by previous owner, so that's getting fixed up and well, as far as the head restraint I am NOT touching it right now because I need to find those plastic parts uh, for it so I can fix it properly other than that uh, the motor is actually working for the uh, head restraint uh, is that that uh, I cannot attach that cable anywhere because those plastic parts are broken like you guys saw at the beginning of the video Alright guys, I'll show you the power seat uh, 
uh, operation uh, on this one after I installed the relay on it. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, go back, go forward. It's working, and we're gonna press this guy, and nothing is happening. Okay, it's trying. It's trying to go up and down right now. Okay. But that's just the forward lifting up and down. But the rear is sitting still. The rear, I'm pressing up, it's not working. Pressing down, it's not working. Let's see, it's not going up and down. So this is also dead. Um, then let's see, this uh, head restraint is not working on that side. Um, then the back, the back rest. It's also not working okay so it's just only moving back and forth and then this motor is going up and down adjusting the front of the seat um, but that's about it guys okay it's the same problem like on that side so uh, I'm gonna do the same diagnostics on this side I'll have to pull the switch out and make sure we have power coming out of those of that power seat switch uh, if not then I'll just replace the uh, seat switches I'm not gonna bore you with that all right uh, I'll just show you everything at the end. Um, okay. All right, guys. So this is the switch that uh, was originally on this car. I just pulled it off. Um, this is the other switch that I installed. It's actually not for the right side. Uh, it's for that side, not for the left side. Uh, but it still works. Okay. Let me show you. All right. Show you all the functions, guys. You're gonna be amazed. All right. Let's look at it. So front seat height motor okay check it out up down now forward sorry i pressed the wrong button press the backrest so that's the backrest okay look at that it's working amazing okay okay now the back the rear height look at that it's working Okay, also watch out, make sure there's nothing on the bottom of the seat that can get crushed or damage the seat. All right, so, and then yeah, here's the back and forth motion, all right. So that's it guys, so <laughs> we narrowed it down pretty uh, well. Okay, we have bad, two bad uh, switches and we had a uh, bad power seat relay. So three things that were causing our seats not to work properly. There's still a lot of issues that I have to fix on this car, but I'm really happy. I'm slowly but surely, I'm bringing this car back to life. Save old school classic Mercedes, best cars in the world. Nobody uh, will ever make such amazing cars uh, like they used to back then. Um, big thank you to you, uh, Bruno Sacco. Uh, you're still alive. Maybe you're watching one of my videos. I, I'm loving the design of these Mercedes that uh, you created. Amazing machines, you know. Uh, big thanks to you. Um, lots of happiness to you and lots of health uh, you're amazing thank you Bruno okay guys I'm about to uh, fix the wiring here uh, behind the driver's side uh, seat okay so whoever wired it up here they did wire it correctly but uh, as you can see it goes like this it should be inside tucked in so it shouldn't be like this it should go on the inside so i'm gonna cut it off i'm gonna splice it again and then i'm gonna put electrical tape on and then i will fix this uh, you know headrest motor right there um there's a wiring for it right here and right there okay so i have to wire those back together and then we can put this panel back on and like i said this headrest uh, motor is not gonna work right now it's actually not working on the other side. Uh, it's spinning, uh, but it's not moving the headrest. It's probably because it's broken on that side as well. And I actually I have no idea how it broke. So we're gonna go ahead, fix the wiring here, put the panel back on, and then, yeah, we're gonna install the switch. I'm gonna see how it works. And with the switch, I still need to work on the switch. I'm gonna either order a new switch for this side, driver's side front, um, or I'll try to rebuild it actually. It probably needs some soldering done, so we'll see. But first, I'm gonna focus on this area. Okay, the repair is done. Now I'll just wrap it around with electrical tape and then I can tuck it inside.
So upon inspection, after I removed this rear cover of this passenger seat, you can see that this cable doesn't attach to anything and this cable actually is supposed to move the headrest, but it's not working. The motor itself is working, it's spinning, the switch is working, but this mechanism is broken. So I'll just leave it like this for right now. And then in the future, we'll probably just fix it up. Um, so yeah, as of right now, I'm not too worried about that. Okay guys, so um, we should be wrapping up this video very soon uh, and I already have uh, tried a couple of switches. This is actually for the other side, so it's not for this side, but I found, finally found a good use switch. Uh, thanks to you, Rain. Thank you so much for this amazing switch. Uh, and I'm about to actually install it and I already installed the one on that side uh, And I'll show to you how the seat works uh, and all that. So uh, first thing is I will uh, reinstall this baby and uh, Then at the end, I'll show you how the seat functions. Also don't mind the black um, Floor mats. I'm actually not a fan of those. I will be ordering some nice Palomino floor mats for this baby uh, and um, I'm shooting this video, uh, you know, after a while, um, and uh, it's because, you know, I've been doing a lot of other work on this car and all that, so, uh, you know, when I had time I was working on this and I was, you know, looking for parts for, for, for the, you know, for this car and all that stuff, so uh finally we are wrapping this thing up and uh, i'm just happy that my power seats are back and working again so uh, like i said follow the mm, wiring diagram for your specific car and you'll be able to diagnose your power seats um yeah anyways less less talking let's uh go ahead and install that switch and i'll show you the final results guys All right, so here's the switch on this side. It's all reinstalled, all amazing. And uh, I'm about to show you uh, how the seat operates. Okay, it's going forward, backwards, uh, rear tilt, it goes up, down, then we're going the backrest. Uh, works now the headrest as I told you that those plastic pieces inside are broken But the motor itself is gonna run so here hear the motor I don't know if you can hear it, but the motor is working for the headrest uh, and then forward function of the seat is working as well Amazing. Now let's move on to the other side. Now on this side, uh, everything is reinstalled as well, except for this part. I have it at home somewhere. I have to look for it. So I'll replace that. That's for the headrest. Okay, but these two are in place. Everything is reconnected. And now let's check the function of this seat as well. So we're going to go forward. Okay, now backwards. Okay, now rear tilt. Look at that. Now rear tilt again, go down, going down. There you go. Now forward tilt. One and down, two. Now the backrest. Okay. There you go. And finally, this one, it's working as well. Uh, it's the head uh, headrest motor. It's gonna work. The only thing is, um, like I said, uh, the plastic pieces inside uh, are broken. So the headrest itself uh, won't move, but the motor is running actually. Here, the motor. Okay, so that's it. We're all done with 
these power seats like i said i just have to uh, find that trim piece right there and just reinstall it and everything else is gonna be golden all right and yes i'm still working on my uh lock switch uh or the uh lock cylinder actually i'm sorry so uh slowly but surely but i'm really happy that my power seats are back together and all that stuff and there's no more ghetto uh crazy wiring that was done by a previous owner uh right there so um yeah that's it she's all happy and great it's a pretty peaceful day today in here uh, amazing all right guys thank you so much for watching and staying with Vito's garage you guys are amazing thank you for all your support and uh, you know don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and check out my playlist and don't forget to save classic cars and I know this video is pretty long but I'll probably divide it in two parts um, but yeah thank you for all your attention and uh, I'll see you in the next one uh, be safe out there and yeah enjoy your classic cars take care